thing is, your life isn't like all your tragedies and then your life. Your life is your life, mm -hmm. and you have tragedies and, and victories and 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 um, friends and and sometimes not enemies, yeah. but people that that get in your way and that's how you negotiate around them and how you solve those problems that, that make up your life. Yeah, first time seeing with with, with a full audience, and it, it was um. It, I don't know, it was, it was humbling, it was really cool because, because I saw the contribution of these guys, I saw the contribution of an amazing group of people with this film, and, and um, I just I felt good about it. I felt like, well, we can, we can all get together and do important stuff and, mm. and interesting stuff, and, and, um, and that was my hope, and I, that's what happened. And you work on a film for two and a half years, yeah. and you watch it yourself, but until you put it in front of an audience, you just don't know. It's the laughter. We couldn't believe it. I mean, we've been in the edit for a year and we don't laugh every time there's a joke in the in the edit because it's just the two of us. It would be weird if after a year we were still <laughs> laughing at the same jokes. I laugh at him. But yeah, yeah. As a person. But the sec, it was like a best man speech. The first laugh that we got, we were like, this is, we're good. Like, this is going to be good. And, and the laughter just continued the whole way through the film to the end. And it's because Michael's just so funny. Like, and um, it was, it was amazing to see that. Like, And people are watching it. There's a, there's a very important line that Michael says at the beginning. You know, I ask him, you know, is this another sad sack story about a guy who gets an incurable yeah. disease? He goes, no, that'd be boring. <laughs> you know, and immediately the audience is saying, look at this film differently. Look at this man differently because mm -hmm. he's not going to be put in a box. Yeah. Are you able to laugh at your own jokes in the theater when, when you're... Well, I think I'm hilarious. <laughs> 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 I am really funny. And, and um, <laughs> yeah, you, you, you wait for those laughs. It's, it's funny, but, but the thing is, Guess David said to me early on, he said, uh, there's this little, this joke on, on, on boring, and if you get, get a laugh on that, we're off the races. Mm. So I thought, that's kind of true. And, and I'm used to, uh, after all these years of sitcom and stuff, hitting laughs and, and constructing, uh, constructing jokes so, so they'll land. It's all about landing the joke. And I realized the joke's been landed. The joke was landed two years ago, so yeah. there's nothing I can do. <laughs> so, so I was like, you're right. Like, if that, does, if that gets a big laugh, then I'll bribe that wave and if it doesn't get a big laugh i'll create something but i can't create anything it's already done but the only thing michael said was no violins yeah I, I just didn't i didn't want to do well the thing is that i'm i'm a happy guy i'm, I'm pretty uh consistently happy and then i look for uh humor is my is my language and that's how i communicate with people and be the scariest thing in the world someone has no sense of humor and also i think a lot of people go into this film and they think it's going to be a film about Michael's relationship with Hollywood and a film about a movie star, but as the film develops, it becomes a film about his relationship with his family. Like, and, and that's, I think, what surprise, surprises a lot of people. That, and it surprised me, because if I, if I was left to my own devices, I would have made a film about Michael's life in the 80s. And just, but Davis brought a whole different layer to the film, which was your relationship with your family and, and how important that is. I, I can say this for you, but I feel like your life was incomplete. And then it became complete, and then the family makes it a full life, and you just you just became a full person in the movie when when you meet her. And a flaming ball of death hurtling towards Earth. And and my feeling is like, we're telling this story together, the three of us. Yeah. And it's, it's there's no like adversarial thing. It's and I showed Michael everything. He showed me everything, and we just made the film we wanted to make. Exactly. And it was it didn't it didn't need to be this yeah. kind of negotiation of what is in the film what's out of the well, film i think we saw it the same way from the beginning i'm surprised when early on and, and i don't mean this any bad, bad way and I, yeah but they came to me and they said uh they said we can put in a contract if you have three things that you can strike and you and i said no just go and shoot the movie yeah. make a movie it's not a movie about me getting three things that you can't say about me it's a movie about my life and if we're going to be real about it i gotta let it let the filmmaker uh, um I have access to that. Now, these are the guys I dealt with. So, <laughs> Michael generously gave me Final Cut, yeah. and I didn't need it. 